Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and today we will be reviewing the Gundam Universe Wing Zero, baby. And man, this is an impressive figure, if I do say so myself. Look at all those paint applications. I love it. This makes model kits seem inferior. By all means. And I love it, how this looks. Sweet, if I do say so myself. I'm definitely going to display this on a flight stand when I get one. So yeah, he's going to be on a flight stand one of these days. Towering over the skies, yeah. All the details are good. Posability is really good, I love that. And the hand just decided to go pop loose. It does that. You're not careful. Yeah. Sneaking hand. It does have extra accessories, but I not. I don't like those accessories much. Sorry about that, I had some camera droppage. Trying to fix the shield is really a pain in the neck. I will admit that's the only problem I have with this figure. Oh, come on. I mean, stay in the hand, you pain in the neck shield. Uh, sorry about my s anger, but this is really... Fucking only daylights out of me. We got it standing again. Let's check out the uh, beam cannon, which looks very reminiscent of the animated anime, which is very good. I love things that nail it head on. And don't require much paint or details. I love about this good figure. And then you got the sweet wings on the back. Accurate to the show. Through and through without coming apart like some model kits. And man, I love this thing. My number one wing zero. He does have... Movable rests, but they pop loose easily. Bend at the arms. Bend at the arms, as you see. And at the legs, double jointed knees. Love that. That far. Kick back that far. Really good figure. I am definitely going to display him like this. Like he was in Gundam. When I get a display stand. But for now, he's perfect the way he is. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. 